Engineers are firing up Japan's nuclear network this weekend. They'll be restarting the first reactor since the March 2011 disaster disabled Fukushima Daiichi and raised concerns about the safety of atomic energy. Operators of the Oi plant in central Japan will put Reactor 3 back online this Sunday. Kansai Electric Power Company engineers have been conducting preparations for the restart. They've been cleaning cooling water pipes and checking for leaks. They found no serious problems. The Prime Minister approved the restart of two units at OE two weeks ago. Kansai Electric spokespersons say Reactor 3 will reach the critical stage Monday morning. That's when the chain reaction of nuclear fission occurs. The unit is expected to start generating power two days later and take four more days to operate at full capacity, provided everything goes smoothly. Kansai Electric plans to restart Reactor 4 at the OE plant on July 17th. Spokespersons say that unit will be at full capacity a week later. Hi guys, here is Henry. I'm reflecting on the nuclear crisis here because I'm living 100 kilometers north from Fukushima Daiichi. Now we have already uh, 36 hours after the massive protests in front of uh, Premier Minister Noda's office and uh, there is a completely blackout of all news about this this huge protest. I know that the uh, Japanese media were black, blackouting, you know, since the nuclear crisis started. But but for me, just uh, for fun, I recorded to my hard disk all news and went through all of them. And uh, can you imagine there was only one very short news on Miyagi TV about the protest. They didn't mention the size of the protest. They didn't uh, mention the rage of people at the protest. They made it look very mild and uh, they didn't mention the size. They made a picture which you couldn't even say, you know, uh, you, you couldn't feel the, the huge size of the protest. There were many helicopters around the place, uh, but the news is not happening. I'm sure on Monday tomorrow there is a morning bird uh, which is uh, which is a morning kind of news uh, in Japan and uh, they are very critical and they will speak about this one but now it's 36 hours and there are no news about this official news on the Japanese TV so uh, where are we living? In which kind of world are we living? What, what is, what does have, what, what does it mean, you know, that the media are afraid of something? This is, uh, this is supposed to be democracy. This is supposed to be free speech world where everybody can express themselves, especially media. But it's not happening. 36 hours after the huge massive protest, there are no news on the TV in Japan. Protesters gathered in front of the Prime Minister's office to demand the government cancel the plan to restart the two reactors at OE. They used social networking sites to coordinate the demonstration. The government must figure out what went wrong at the Fukushima plant before restarting any reactors. Housewives with children and businessmen on their way home from work joined the protest. A number of people in Japan have become concerned about the dangers of nuclear power since the Fukushima Daiichi accident. It is the 30th of the 6th, 2012, and this is a Fukushima special report. Pour one up, buddies. A freelance journalist in Japan received an emergency email from TEPCO. Around 6.24 a.m. of the 30th, 2012, alarm was given for the system trouble in the coolant system of spent fuel pool number four. 
coolant system and spent fuel pool number four was automatically stopped. No water leakage was confirmed. I repeat, confirmed. This is coming from TEPCO, remember. The water temperature in the spent fuel pool, pool number four was 31 degrees Celsius when the coolant system was stopped. TEPCO estimates it's raised at 0.486 Celsius per hour. Currently, TEPCO is investigating what stopped the coolant system. TEPCO will update by email when they obtain further information. This was received at 8.19 a.m. E&E News also is covering this. Uh, they have a direct link to uh, Kyoto News, which is running a story, uh, basically the same exact story. So we have a general press release from TEPCO stating uh, that the coolant system for the spent fuel pool number four, this is the one everybody's been going on and on about, uh, has stopped yet again and um, the temperature's rising. Now they're doing a lot of construction and whatnot around um, spent fuel pool number four, the number four reactor building. They're literally tearing it down. We are finding out that it's, it's unstable uh, the soil around it needs, um, they're, they're injecting it with cement to try to stabilize the foundation a little more than it is. Uh, a lot more damage was done uh, than we've been led to believe, of course. I will attach links below. Uh, please enjoy it while you can. Thanks, everybody.